All Milad Abu Zhao can do is watch, listen, and wait. I don't know. It is bad. I feel bad. I called them my job yesterday because I could not go to work. I was here watching the TV crying. He last heard from his family on Skype Monday afternoon, but only for a few seconds. His niece said they could hear shooting from their home near the capital city, where they're trapped and running out of supplies. They have no, uh, what's say, enough food, and they don't have, uh, what's say, they, they have medicine, and there is a lot of bodies just on the street. There is a lot of bodies still on the street. Abu Zhao says protesters are fed up after 40 years under Muammar Gaddafi, and they simply want freedom from his regime. Gaddafi taped a furious speech on Libyan TV, demanding his supporters take back the streets from protesters who want him to step down. For Abu Zhao, he says the only way the violence will end is with change, but he's unnerved that it's so close to his family. I, I can't believe they are using air force agonists of civilian people on the street. Look at them. They don't have weapons. They don't have nothing. They're only shouting they need freedom. That's it. Reporting in Lincoln, Kelly Samariva, Channel 8 Eyewitness News.